हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल खत्री स्टेनो सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल फॉर मोर डिक्टेशन ऑन डेली बेसिस गेट रेडी फॉर द डिक्टेशन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट जुडिशरी इज द बैकबोन ऑफ द जुडिशियल सिस्टम वाइटल टू द जुडिशियल सिस्टम इज द इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ द जुडिशियल ऑफिसर्स सर्विंग इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट जुडिशरी to secure their impartiality it is important to ensure their financial security and economic independence to this end at the instance of the all india judges association this court in 1993 found the need of state that there must be a judicial pay commission separate and independent from the executive in order to ensure that the system of checks and balances are in place and the judiciary has a say in their pay and service conditions pursuant to the judgment of this court the first national judicial pay commission fnjpc was constituted by the government of india by resolution dated 213 1996 the fnjpc headed by justice k jagannath shetty submitted a comprehensive report on 11 11 the comprehensive report contained recommendations on pay pension and allowances as well as other service conditions pertaining to the district judiciary after prolonged proceedings on 21 3 2002 this court approved the recommendations of the fnjpc pertaining to emoluments with certain modifications relating to allowances notably the recommendations were accepted with effect from 1 1 1996 this was because the employees of the central government were given the benefits of the fifth central pay commission from that date Within the next few years the central government appointed the 6th central pay commission and the commission made its recommendations which were accepted from 11 2006 to ensure that the district judiciary does not lag behind the court once again stepped in at the instance of the very same all india judges association to examine the present structure of emoluments and conditions of service of judicial officers in the states and uts taking into account the total packet of benefits available to them and make suitable recommendations including post retirement benefits such as pension etc having regard among other relevant factors to the existing relativity relatives in the pay structure between the officers belonging to subordinate judicial services vis a vis other civil servants and mechanism for redressal of grievances in this regard to consider and recommended such interim relief as it considers just and proper to all categories of judicial officers of all the states oblig union territories the interim relief if recommended shall have to be fully adjusted against and included in the package which may become admissible to the judicial officers on the final recommendations of the commission it is seen from that report the commission that it held reason wise consultative conferences in the cities of guwahati mumbai kolkata kochi delhi chandigarh chennai lucknow bhopal visakhapatnam and shrinagar where long deliberations took place with the representatives of the all india judges association all india retired judges association state associations officials of the registry and deputed officers of high court and senior government officers a perusal of the report indicates that the commission has analyzed the representations from various sources and periodically consulted with several experts while preparing working sheets and calculations the court took cognizance of the report on 28 to 2020 for the assistance of the court amicus curiae were appointed